Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I'm concerned with food shortages and what foods that I can buy now, what are still available, what are not available or in short supply, and what are the prices going forward. Some of the prices on food are really rising dramatically. Buying food when you can afford it is planning, it's prepping, it's not hoarding. Having enough food going forward so that you'll know you'll have the things you need no matter what the future brings just makes sense. I haven't been inside of a grocery store in several months. I've been rotating the stored foods that I have and utilizing the online shopping where you order the foods and you schedule a time and go and pick it up. It's been concerning to me that my online orders are still coming up. Probably 30% of the items that I want are not available. And then people have commented that if you go in the store, they have the things, they're just too busy uh, to get them for you when you do those click lists. So today I went to my local grocery store and I discovered that they did have things that I couldn't get online, but they also were still out of a lot of things that people are saying are available. I don't know if it's because of where I live, it's harder to get things delivered to Alaska. Everything comes in by barges, so they just cost more. But I've also noticed that the prices of foods are increased quite a bit over the last several months and that dramatically over the last year. And the shelves are just not stocked like they used to. There are still bare patches and food is spread out on the shelves. You'll see a shelf that has soup and then you realize there's six cans across the front that are all the same kind and there's nothing behind it. And the varieties are extremely limited. They just don't have the items in this grocery store stockpile as they used to. When you think about it that it's summertime, it's the easiest time to get to the store. People have been uh, release from lockdown stores are opening up but then we don't know what's coming there's still a lot of civil unrest in many of the cities there are uh, resurgences of coronavirus in many parts of our country and states are even locking down so I figured it was a good day to put on my mask get out my gloves and head to the store and see what I could get and how much I could actually replenish my stockpile because I'm a little concerned that going forward things are going to be worse, harder to find, more expensive. I don't want to be caught short not having the supplies that I need for the next several months. I want to know that I have what I need and then I don't have to be concerned with it. So I thought I'd share with you the things that I bought today and tell you some ways that you can use them and some strategies for stocking up and even some of the mistakes I made. It's always a good idea to have a nice selection of dried beans. You can use them in your three to six month food storage. There's no sense opening up giant buckets if you've stored a lot of rice and beans. You don't want to open your 30 year food storage bucket until you actually have a real emergency. If you continue to buy small amounts, you can practice learning how to cook with them. And I've noticed that there are fewer choices. There are shortages of all kinds of dried beans, peas, and it's a good time to stock up now. If you don't have a big supply of them, I highly suggest that you do get these kind of foods. They can store for 30 years. They're something you can always rely on having something to eat in the worst of dire circumstances. I also got some egg noodles. I've already got lots of other kinds of pasta, lots and lots of rice. The rice was very expensive, so I didn't get any of that. And a few weeks ago, I got all kinds of pastas, but I was not able to get egg noodles. Makes a good meal when you make stroganoff with your roast beef. It's easy to store a bag of beans in an empty canning jar, put on the lid and set it aside. And you can open and use it when you need to, but it's also a great way to store your food so it lasts longer. I've had a hard time getting the jars that I want, so you may not have exactly the right size, but I was able to get one box of the lids. It's for the regular size jars. They didn't have any of the wide mouth jar lids available at all. So if you see lids, pick them up. I was able to get a lot of jars of spaghetti or pasta sauce in various flavors. The tomato basil is good, the spicy tomato basil is really good, and the vodka sauce is delicious too. I particularly like the Classico jars because after you use the sauce you can reuse these jars. It comes in a canning jar, a mason canning jar. After you've used your sauce, you can clean your jar and then you can use a regular size lid and ring and you have another way to store your food. 
The lids can sometimes be hard to get the aroma out of, so if you're just going to store something dry like pasta or something, that might be okay. But if you don't have enough rings, you can still put on the lid and use this to tighten it down to store your dry food. I got an assortment of tomato products, some tomato paste, some enchilada sauce, Mexican style tomatoes, fire roasted salsa style tomatoes, the store brand diced tomatoes with green chilies. This is the Rotel that's the store brand, but it's, it's half the price, but they only had one can in the store brand, so I went ahead and got a Chipotle diced tomatoes with the Rotel. My favorite tomatoes to buy are the Italian style diced tomatoes that are flavored with basil, garlic, and oregano. They're great for adding to Italian recipes and they've already got some of the seasonings in them and they're a delightful product. But they did not have any of these today at the store so I was glad I still had a few on hand. They had a huge variety of canned beans. Canned beans are always a great food to have in your food storage. You can use a can of beans, heat it up with something, and make a meal. I was glad to see the huge variety because they haven't been available for a long time. The price was 99 cents each. The store brand was on sale. Every other brand of beans in the store was either $159 or $199. So the price of beans is definitely going up. This might be a good time to get some and add them to your food storage pantry. Fresh meat has been in shorter supply and canned meat has been extremely difficult to find where I live. I was able to find two little cans of smoked ham. I got four cans of tuna and two cans of spam. The problem I made when I bought this tuna is I hadn't seen it before and I didn't pay close enough attention. They had very little of it on the shelf so I grabbed a few because people in my family like to eat tuna. Well after I got home I started looking. You can see it clearly says chunk light tuna in water. It's a brand I never heard of before called Ankla, but I didn't see very much tuna, so I grabbed it and I broke my rule of if you haven't tried it before, just get one and take it home and try it, and I actually bought four. And then when I got home, I realized it says here, I had to get practically a magnifying glass to read it, it says textured soy. You would think if it was made with something besides tuna, it would say it here where it says tuna. Well then I realized it's also made in Mexico and look how tiny the writing is and if you have to go this close to even tell what's in it and where it's from, it's probably not what I should have purchased. And it might taste okay, it might be great for an emergency and it's probably something to have on hand but I was disappointed in myself that I made the mistake of not taking the time to read everything carefully and buying several of something I wasn't sure if it was even any good. I got a few family favorites, the Chef Boyardee mini ravioli, some Progresso zesty Santa Fe style chicken soup, and some Campbell's creamy chicken and dumplings. The ravioli was up to $1.89 per can, which I thought was a dramatic increase. I stocked up on my favorite Just Add Water. The pasta roni, you just need water and a little butter or olive oil. The garlic and olive oil vermicelli doesn't require any milk. And the Idahoan potatoes are fabulous because they only need to add water. Make either of these into a quick meal. Add a can of chicken to your pasta roni. Pour a can of soup over your mashed potatoes and you have a meal that's cheap fast, filling, and delicious. Take the contents of your pasta roni and place it in a Ziploc sandwich size bag and three of them can fit into a wide mouth quart size jar. Add the strip of directions inside your jar. Add a variety of different flavors and condiments so that you can make your meals have variety and taste different. I saw the bourbon barbecue manwich sauce, which I've never seen before, but manwich is good. I've got some pure maple syrup, which is a forever food. It lasts forever, it never expires. Mayonnaise, Miracle Whip, olives, tartar sauce, different kinds of salad dressings go great. You can pour them over meats when you're baking them and putting them in the crock pot and add different flavors and chunky mango lime salsa, yum. Get some shelf stable milk and peanut butter. Those are just go-to foods in my household and the Gossner Foods milk is really good. 
However, I used to be able to get it for a dollar and it was three dollars and twenty-nine cents for the one container of milk and peanut butter used to be about a dollar forty-nine, dollar ninety-nine and it was three fifty-nine for this little container of peanut butter. If you like imported foods, you may want to stock up now. We never know internationally how trade is going to go, if countries are going to shut down due to coronavirus. There's unrest in certain parts of the world. So get the things that you want that are imported while they're still available. My Korean barbecue sauce is from Korea. The coconut milk is from Thailand. The artichokes are from Peru. This is some really great root beer that's from Australia. And one of the reasons you might want to stock up on olive oil right now is that there's an olive tree blight in Italy which is threatening Europe. There's no cure for the olive blight. It kills the trees and it can spread to other fruit trees and grapevines. Don't forget to stock up so you have extra food on hand for your pets. I like the sparkling waters. I try to drink those instead of soda pop. And I got home and I realized this one has caffeine. Since when does water have caffeine? never dawned on me to look for such a thing. I was just looking for the flavors. Lime, berry, grapefruit, because they have so many flavors. I was just trying to find the flavor. I had no idea they came with caffeine. So read the labels even if you think you're buying things that you've had before. Sometimes you're not actually choosing what you think you are. They had plenty of toilet paper, paper towels. There was even bleach for about three sixty-nine a bottle, I think. And uh, I was not able to get any like Lysol disinfecting spray or any kind of Clorox wipes, nothing like that was available. But I was glad that I could stock up on a lot of the things that I do like to have and things that I know that I feel secure knowing that I have enough going forward so I'll be able to make meals for myself and my family no matter what the day brings. Stock up while you have a chance. Buy as much as you can afford or a little at a time as you go. Every little bit helps. Build up your stockpile so you'll have the things you need. You'll be able to feed yourself and your family no matter what the future brings. If you liked my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else who might enjoy it. Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.